Shalom, Kal Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Baraka thumb to you brothers and sisters with good works. Be encouraged. Today's lesson is going to be entitled, The Manner of Persons Ye Are to Be. Again, The Manner of Persons Ye Are to Be. So let's get right in it. 2 Peter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. What this is saying is, the Lord is not slack, the Lord is not delaying, the Lord is not tarrying concerning his promise. That's just how some men characterize it. You see that? That's just how some men characterize it. He's not slack, he's not delaying, he's not tarrying concerning his promise. He's just merciful. That's all that is saying. He's just merciful. Let's read on. But it's long suffering to us were, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Exactly. Because if the Lord was to come right now, be honest with yourself, will you truly be ready? Are you really ready for the Lord if he was to come right now? So the Lord is being merciful to us. Right? That every day we could repent and try to do better. Every day we repent and do better. But what I read so far, it's just summing up the parable of the faithful and wise servant and the evil servant. Matter of fact, let's get that. Matthew 24, I'm going to start at 43. But know this, if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 44. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. What the Lord is saying here is, he's going to come as a thief in the night. When you least expect it, that's when he's going to show up. You see? But let's continue. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? whom his Lord has made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season. What this is saying is the Lord set up men to be overseers of his household. And they're supposed to oversee the function of the household. Not only to oversee the functions of the household, they're also supposed to make sure that the servants or the sheep of the household are very well fed and taken care of. Let's continue. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Exactly. If you're that wise and faithful servant, that's if you're that wise and faithful servant, you're overseeing the function of the Lord's household, and you're feeding the servants or the sheep of the household, you're making sure that the sheep or the servants of the household are very well fed and taken care of. You'll be considered a wise and faithful servant. Let's continue. Verse 48, But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming. That's the same thing we read in 2 Peter the third chapter. That is saying, the Lord is slack concerning his promise. It's saying the same thing. Let's continue. Verse 49, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. Exactly. So this servant is saying the Lord is slack concerning his promise. Or the Lord is delaying his coming. The Lord is tarrying. Alright. This is that same servant. And what is he going to do? He's going to start to smite his fellow servant. Now to smite is not always a physical thing. You could smite a person with words. Right. You could use the tongue. Man. Because the tongue is an unruly evil. You could use the tongue and smite people with it. And it has been proven that verbal abuse is just as harmful as physical abuse. We need to not be so vicious with our mouth. So you see, you could use your words to beat down a person and break their spirit. Or you could use words to build a person up and give them encouragement. You see? So you could smite a person with words and that is considered smiting a fellow servant and to eat and drink with the drunken meaning they lost focus of their objective all right let's continue 
the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. That's the parable that links up with 2 Peter, the third chapter, all right, from verse, from verse 9 to verse 10, right? But let's continue. 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Exactly. Now you know that the earth is going to be burned up. All right. But not only that, we know about the martial law. We know about the race wars. We know about the civil wars. We know about the FEMA camps. We know about the FEMA caskets. We know about the famine. We know about the plagues. We know about all the pestilence. We know all these things. But in knowing these things, what manner of person are you to be? That's the point of this whole lesson. The manner of person she ought to be. Let's get it. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be? Exactly. What manner of persons are ye to be? What sort of persons are you to be? In all holy conversation and godliness. You see that? In all holy conversation and godliness. And conversation don't mean talking to one another, right? It don't mean speaking to somebody. When you look up the word conversation in the blue letter, it is... Strong's G391. Anastrafe. Anastrafe. And it means manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. You see that? Again, the word conversation, it means manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. And when you get the definition of the word deportment, it means bearing, right? As in military bearing, right? And what is military bearing? The definition, the element of outward appearance of a serviceman, clean and correctly arranged uniform, properly worn and adjusted, equipment, manner of behavior, in and out of formation, imparting a brisk military outward appearance to the individual entire detachment. All right? It says it's your manner of behavior in and out of formation. All right? Whether you're doing the work or not, your behavior is what matters. How you conduct yourself is what matters. You understand? Now you see that? So your holy conversation is your manner of life, your conduct, your behavior, and your bearing. That's what it's talking about. Right? Verse 12. Looking for and hasting under the coming of the day of the Most High, rearing the heavens, being on fire shall be dissolved, and the earth and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Exactly. Because this world is set up to bring out the worst in you. You understand? This world is set up to bring out the worst in you. Okay, and we're tired of the injustice we see going on. We're tired of it. So what? We look forward for a new heaven and a new earth where it's going to dwell righteousness. You understand? Where it's going to dwell righteousness. That's what we're looking for. All right, let's continue. Wherefore, verse 14, wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, Seeing though we're looking for that new heaven and that new earth where we're going to be dwelling in righteousness, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And I did a video entitled, Give Diligence, Exert Your Qualities. You understand? And this is saying the same thing. Give diligence, exert your qualities, that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless without spot me, without fault. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me, that you might be found without fault. Why? Because you're diligent, meaning you're exerting your qualities. You understand? If you're doing that, you will be found without spot and blameless. You see? And with that, I hope your brothers and sisters were edified. Be encouraged. Continue in the faith with good works and good conversation. Shalom. Oh, I, 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 I see the light now. I see the light now. It's time to get right now. It's time to, get right it's time to do it right now. It's time to do it right now. Oh, I, 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 I see the light now. I see the light. We gotta get right now. We gotta, right now. We gotta do it right now. Oh, I, I. Gotta do it right now